Since the release of Halo Infinite, I haven't really touched anything else when it comes to Halo because I want to play the new stuff. But there's one mode that always makes me come back to enjoy the classics. That's the Halo CE Anniversary playlist in Halo Reach. And it's been a hot minute since I've played MCC. So I thought, what would it be like playing the MCC in 2023 on a game that released in 2019 on PC, on a platform that released in 2014, that's a game that released in 2010, that mimics a game that released in 2001. Because you know me, I love to be super relevant. And if you enjoy these type of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel within this all famous YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment what you guys would like to see next and let's jump right into it. And also the big difference I'm going to play with this one is I'm playing this on mouse and keyboard. Now, I actually really haven't touched MCC on mouse and keyboard since like Halo 2 Anniversary. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how well it plays out because I've been playing nothing but mouse and keyboard since the December update in Halo Infinite and I've been really enjoying it. Like I kind of want to see like... How is it playing uh, nowadays? Woo! Yeah, that's kind of snappy. I enjoyed that kill. Weird to play without sprint. I'm constantly hitting the shift key to sprint, but hey, you know, it's working out somehow. Let's take over and grab this camo here. But there's no simple tricks like it was in C where you shoot your assault rifle and make sure you actually go camo faster. But we got a fortunate soul here. Now, the great thing about the CEA play is that they actually did try to mimic how Combat Evolved played with a three-shot pistol. So, basically, you're going to be seeing a lot of this right in my hand. Like, that's about all you're ever going to need. Oh, every single weapon, unless it's like a sniper rifle or a shotgun, is kind of irrelevant when it comes to CEA just because of how good that pistol was. I mean, like, damn. But I will say that in, since it is in Halo Reach's engine, that the hit detection is far more consistent than it ever was in CE. You guys know how CE pistol went. It was had a bit of a random spread to it. Just kind of like and to the wonkiness of C that kind of just made things a little more random and just like not super serious, but like obviously a well play a player who has a with skill can actually keep up with. Though the Magnum in Halo at Reach definitely has its own version of spread, especially outside of Red Oracle when you have to lead your shots a little bit right there, but you can see just how lethal they are leading the team. Leading the charge. Oh, he's got the overshield and rockets. This cannot be. Oh my god, no, I just need it myself. You know, sometimes it's like you know what's going to happen. So you're like, I'm just going to end it right now. Like, we all know what's going to happen. The guy's OS and rockets. Like, I just did him a favor, basically. I just didn't want to give him the credit for the kill. So, yeah, I, it was all me that wanted to do that. That definitely wasn't my hands completely flopping on my mouse and keyboard to keep up in Halo. Definitely wasn't that. Absolutely not that. Oh, can you get this kill? Look at that little three tap. Ooh. And we just had a teammate leave. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we needed this match. Oh, he tried to charge him with a shotgun sniper combo. Wasn't gonna work out, friend. Right now, it's actually kind of a moment I wish I had that AI scan so I could figure out where that sniper is. And I dropped because I'm so good. Sniper, you know, mouse and keyboard and reach that, like, I decided just to miss shots to kind of make it a little easier for them, you know? Like, if I hit every shot, like, it would be kind of awesome, but it would get boring real quick. You know, you need a little bit of randomness to kind of just spice things up a little bit, right? Also, the thing about the camo in this mode, if you see you pick it up and you're moving, that you're actually moving just slight enough to where people can actually see you. So you can actually kind of still have to move slowly and crouch, which is, like, a shame, because whenever you pick up camo, you're like, oh, it's time to mess people up, make some plays. Then you're like, wait, I'm actually kind of visible. People will see me, but... We have camo enough to get these rockets? Yes. Magic can happen with this, right? There we go. Yeah, can we get double up? the guy right below me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, okay, we got the assist. The enemy team did like the excellent tactic of spawning on the opposite side. So they kind of got me there. But hey. Yeah, my team got a little smacked right there. Hey, look, an overarching long-term progression system. That's kind of an interesting concept. Imagine if, like, other games did something very similar, you know? It'd just be a very, uh, I guess, uh, unique experience. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Kevin, why would you be excited about a playlist in a game from 2010 that's supposed to mimic a game that's in 2001 in the MCC where you can just play Halo CE whenever you'd like? And I would say you're correct. I'm just afraid of the past. No, but in all actuality, the reason why I like this mode so much is because you have some of those minute gameplay evolutions that came from playing a Halo game in 2010 compared to 2001. The one thing, the hit detection is way smoother in Reach than it ever is in CE. Uh, there is a little bit of bullet deviation when it comes to the pistol in Reach, but it's just not nearly as crazy as it is in CE. So when you shoot, your bullets go where you're actually aiming, which is, well, kind of the idea of a shooter. And plus, I mean, just look at the graphics here, dude. Like, 
look at this visual art style on this map. It's just like such a huge upgrade. I'm gonna try to just peek my head out and get killed real quick so you guys get the visuals. Like, look at this. Yeah, I told you I was gonna get killed, but it was for the content. And I like things to look pretty. I'm sorry. I just stood still. That just made it really easy for me to pick it off, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's not saying that Seed certainly doesn't have its charm. I There's some moments where I just want to jump in and play some combat ball because it's combat evolved and it has like its own unique aspects to the game that really make it stand out from any game from that era plus uh you know the member berry feels of being able to land with my bros back in the day you know my mom's basement just playing blood gold ctf until like the m next morning basically oh gosh this guy came prepared yeah that guy that guy just came prepared i had no chance holy crap he's the he has 17 kills the rest of the team is zero what a cracked out legend i didn't realize i was in a lobby with a literal god am i gonna be like kratos over here and just kind of like try to take out the god himself i mean it seems like everyone else i'm just kind of picking up pretty easy but can i be the legend killer can i kill this god i choke pog 965 i i need to get you at least once here dude i need one just one kill that's all i want it's just one kill on him I feel ex there he is. As I say, I feel I feel completely validated for playing this game. I just get one more kill. There we go. But like I lie, I think the rest of the game is gonna actually stay away from him and just pick off and everybody else. Like this guy right here, this lonely buffalo out in the middle of the field. And yeah, these guys are fun to kill. I choke pog. Not as much fun to kill. Really more, much more rewarding though. I would tell you that much. I was literally the first kill from anybody else besides hype choke pog right there. What is going on down there, dude? <laughs> These guys are uh, some unique players, to say the least. But, hey, I'm liking it. I enjoy free kills. There we go. Like I told you, free kills, man. And another reason why I like to play the CEA playlist is because, well... It's just like a limited time mode, and you don't really get a chance to enjoy these too often. Oh my, he's right above me. He's going to drop down. He's feeling spice. This is, this is Pogman right here. I guarantee it. It's not! Easy kills! Oh my god, hype choke pog. Just like this guy beams. Like he doesn't miss. He's an absolute god tier player. Oh my god, he's dream one aggro legend! Jesus Christ, he was one shot the whole time too. <laughs> oh man. This guy. S tier legendary LCEA player. Oh my goodness. He's hurt though. Can we get him? That's that's number two, baby! Dude, hype choke pog just got 40 kills and lost in that team slayer game. I feel so bad for this guy. I do love the lineup feature that we have now in MCC. That's just super cool. I need to customize my character a little better here. Here, He went 40 and 6 and lost. That can't be good for your mental stability. Look at this. We have a fellow mouse and keyboard user. Believe. All right, I saw my team right here. We have a guest. I don't have high hopes about this. I will say that coming back to MCC on mouse and keyboard, like it just feels like, especially in the CEA playlist, I feel like I'm playing on ice skates. Like, Halo Infinite is super snappy and feels great to play, honestly, now on Master Keeper ever since the temper update. Hopping back over to this mode in particular, it feels super slippery. Like, I am slipping and sliding all over this map right now. Oh, God, they're all down there. There, the entire team is down here. Can I get at least, like, a double or something? Like, something. Now my team's just going to die. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. No, oh, I took out my teammate now! Oh my gosh, they are just all in our grill right now. This entire team is just super aggro. And also, not gonna lie, I'm kind of missing a little bit of that mouse and keyboard aim assist. <laughs> oh gosh, she's up here. I feel like a game like Halo definitely needs that aim assist when it comes to mouse and keyboard. Just because for how the movement works in this game, or just in the franchise in general, that it's something completely different. Like in games like Call of Duty or Battlefield or... Literally any other kind of popular shooter you can think of right there. For the most part, you're sitting behind cover shooting. So you're not really like having that big emphasis on movement within your gameplay, because that's a big thing I think helps differentiate Halo from anything else out there. So you're just such constant fluid movement that it's actually kind of tough to keep on target, which makes that skill gap really cool about Halo. And that's why the gameplay of Halo can be just so damn addicting because nothing else plays like Halo. See that mini-map? Oh, I see that mini-map. I see that mini-map. No, get him away. Get him away. Get him away. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for this. Well, I kind of did because I got a little aggressive, but come on, man. Look at the red dot. Look, watch the red dot. Let the shields recharge. Oh, we got him. Got some more friends coming up here. You got friends? Oh, I got one shot. 
There we go. Get another one up here. Yes, dude. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I just don't need the aim assist. Maybe I just need to get better at the game. We'll just try that next time. I need the aim assist. You already did what you did. Oh my gosh. I got him with the nade. Oh god, there's another one. Oh, I got the melee lunge, but I didn't get the melee. No. <laughs> and kind of like what I mentioned earlier, guys, I didn't have high hopes about this match. And, uh, well, you can see my worst nightmares come true. Even the guest is doing better than the actual person who's hosting on the split screen, so. Yikes. Oh, you tried getting super aggro on me, dude, and it just did not work out in your favor. Ooh, how did I survive that? Oh, that's right, there's no bleed through. Just like good old C. I will try to help out you team. Just making it more difficult than it needs to be. Oh god, they're 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 ag they're just angry. They're angry. I tried guys. Hey, I genuinely tried, okay. Tap that like button. Let's me know you guys want to see some more videos like this. I'll catch you on the next one.